Good morning. <laughs> oh, I'm at home in Minnesota. So, I kind of lied in one of my recent live streams because I said that I was going to be uploading a... Oh, my camera. I said that I was going to be uploading a video about my Christmas... I had said I was going to be uploading a video about my Christmas and if you've been watching my live streams I did not have a good Christmas whatsoever. I was really emotional. I cried a lot like basically every day. I was just not okay being away for the holidays and ooh, what's that? how much makeup did I have under my eye? Um. Anyways, it felt after New Year's and after feeling so much better and being really excited about the New Year, it just didn't feel right to then go back and it, it just didn't feel right. I've explained that I didn't have a good Christmas and I feel like that's probably enough. Um... I'm not sure that it had anything to do with my job and actually being away as much as it had to do with the state that I was in, which I think my PMDD is coming back. Um, and I probably need to give up caffeine again, but I haven't yet. I'm actually out of celery juice today. I forgot to go get some more yesterday. I've been doing celery juice every day, which has been great, but today I don't have celery. But I am going to do lemon water before I have my coffee. So, I am sick again. Um, I don't think I'm still sick because I had, I felt better. And also, it feels like a different kind of sickness. I'm still congested. I am like, my nose will not stop running. Um, and every, it's like I have a headache every night. And last night, I just felt like sick going to bed. So, it's really annoying. I'm sick of being sick. <laughs> and it's weird because before I had COVID in 2021... I never used to get sick, like ever. Now I get sick every year. So, anyways, water with one whole organic lemon. Been doing this every morning too. My selfie light is dead, so we're just gonna go with what we have at the moment. So, in my last video, I talked about my 2024 goals. And mostly the response was so positive. It's always like nerve wracking posting things like that. Because it's like, it's supposed to be fun and whimsical, but also it's like you putting your dreams out to the universe and, um, and some people think that's weird. Some people are very like, that's never going to happen. And, you know, whatever. So I knew I was going to get some mean comments, and I did. But mostly the response was, like, really positive. And, um, but one person in particular felt like I didn't say how I was going to reach my goals. But maybe he didn't watch the whole video. Um, I don't know. But anyways... I'm going to start my morning out doing all my journals. So we've got my regular journal and I've been doing um, journaling about my day, but then I've been doing my affirmations. You know, I am a money magnet. Money is always flowing to me. The money I spend will always come back to me, you know, that type of thing. And then I'm doing gratitude, what I'm grateful for every day. Um, so I'm going to start out doing that. And then we're going to write in the regular planner because that's how I'm tracking my spending. So maybe I'll do this one. Well, I guess it's like morning and night because I do have to go to the grocery store today. So I will be tracking this. I'm mostly tracking my um, grocery spending because 
I'm not really trying to spend much on anything else. And then this one, I don't know if I'm going to use this one every day. Um, it's just like you put your dreams in there. And so it's like anytime I'm feeling like anytime I'm feeling like I need motivation, I feel like it's good to go in and just remind yourself what your dreams are and that they are attainable. So the other thing is I was talking to my mom and I was like, do you think that I can not buy clothes for the entire year in order to save money for a house? I'm talking no clothes, no thrifting, nothing new, no Amazon, no TikTok shop, like nothing. And my mom was like, absolutely not. <laughs> and now I'm like, that might be my challenge for 2024 beyond like, obviously I have all these goals. But I haven't really set like a challenge for myself and I'm like, what if I can go the whole year of 2024 without buying new clothes? I'm like, I have everything from athletic wear to like a capsule wardrobe to a fucking ball gown, <laughs> lingerie, like all this stuff. I'm like, I don't think I need anything. Even if I go to a concert or a festival, I'd be re-wearing festival outfits, but I have stuff to wear. So I'm like... I genuinely, the only thing that would that would put me back is if I end up finding a way to go to the Eras tour, I would have to buy something for that because that is just like too special and too once in a lifetime not to. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna be my new goal. But it's funny because it's already been like only a day since I think yesterday my mom and I talked about this and I was already like last night and this morning on Instagram and TikTok being like, ooh, I wanna buy that, ooh, I wanna buy that. I'm like, dang, it would be a challenge. But I just think if I added up how much money I spent on clothes, just even thrifting, I would be like, you know? And I just bought myself new workout shoes. Pavement behind her, leathery wings snapping beneath it, but she was already moving again. Keep going. And the witch queen answered before the first ring had ended, listened. Keystrokes, Declan had linked Sabine's phone to the system in the conference room, so the ox might hit an <gasps> ancient gnarled finger to the screen, to the feeds, and he said, One wolf remains <laughs> in the old square. <laughs> yeah. Give me your phone. <laughs> Isaiah didn't question him, and didn't it's say so a word good. as he handed it over. Alright, I'm officially opening my iPad for the first time in a while. To write. I'm gonna start something totally different because um, I have like 30 something pages written of what I thought was gonna be like possibly my first book but it has been like two years I can't believe it's been that long. These were opened in 2022 so um, to start a new document. So I'm obsessed with dragons. Anything to do with dragons is pretty much my favorite fantasy theme. Um, dragons, wyverns, like the whole thing, I just love them. The more lifelike the dragon is, the more I like it. For example, like I really liked that aspect of Fourth Wing, even though Fourth Wing wasn't my favorite book for other reasons. Um, I, I truly loved the new spin on dragons. Uh, my cat's name is Dragon, uh, who now, I still say he's my cat. He's my brother's cat now. Uh, my brother has had him for a very long time now. Uh, but I named him Dragon. I also found out that this year is the year of the dragon. And dragons um, in like folklore or mythology or whatever you want to call it um, are like Porters and protectors of treasure and so it represents like riches and money and all of these things which as you know this year for me really represents making money saving money um you know meeting financial goals making financial goals like all of these things and so I was thinking the other day and mind you, I do not have a story in mind to write. I would, I want to write a book. I want to write a fantasy novel. But I think it's going to take me becoming a writer for that story to come. Um, 
So I will be very impressed with me if I can just sit down and write stuff and hopefully eventually I'll write something that I'm like, that's my story. Good morning. Today I'm leaving to go back to work and I'm working like double this month than I have in the previous months. I think I need a bathroom. Hold on, this towel is not gonna stay up. Oh, much better. So today I'm headed back to New York for work. So I'm just getting my life together. Um, my flight's not till 5.20 p.m., which is nice. It's a lot later than I usually have to take, but the flights are wide open. There's like 50 open seats, so I'm sure that I'm gonna get on. Um, I'm not gonna put on a sunless tan or um, makeup today. Because as soon as I get to New York, I'm going to sleep. And then I have to get up and work in the morning. And I don't want to feel dirty. I don't want to have to worry about washing off my makeup since, since I'm just going um, to sleep. So, anywho, that's what we're doing with our life today. Although I do look quite pale in the screen right now, but... I've been tanning for a couple of days, so I actually look pretty normal in real life. Um, so yesterday, I put live my first episode of Samantha Spills. It's so fun. I'm so excited to do more episodes over there. Um, I just think it's going to be so fun. So if you haven't subscribed, go to my community page. I shared the first episode. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do like once a week type of a thing. I would like to stick to the same day of the week for that. But I don't know what day of the week is best. I upload it on Sunday. But I feel like everybody uploads on Sunday. So I'm like, since it's more of like a podcast style, like you don't really have to watch it to listen to it. Um, I'm like, maybe a day of the week is better for like driving commuting. So I'm like, maybe Monday mornings would be a good time to put it live. But let me know if you think there's a day that would be best. But anywho, I am gonna do my hair today. I'm going to color wow spray it. What else? We're gonna use the Briogeo Don't Despair, Don't Despair Repair leave-in conditioner. Uh, we have so many leave-in conditioners here um, because my mom and I did FabFitFun last year. We're doing it again this year. We pay for it. We just enjoy it. Um, and you do get to try a lot of stuff, but we have this leave-in conditioner. We have this one. I think my mom has gotten this one as well. So I still swear by don't, res don't despair repair, but you know what? Maybe I'll try this one. The thing about the Don't Despair Repair is that it's also a heat protectant. So I've used this one when I've just air dried my hair, but this one, because it also is a heat protectant, oh my God, my legs are dry and itchy. Oh, oh I need lotion. Um, and then I use my Olaplex bonding oil, which I went through a phase where I was only putting it on after I styled my hair. Because in my mind, I was like, if you put oil on your hair and then put heat on it, you're cooking your hair, right? But I've since learned that certain oils, that is true. Like if you use coconut oil on your hair and then you apply heat, you're going to cook your hair. Or olive oil or any oil that's not really meant to be put on your hair. So, um, but hairs that are purposefully made for it also help protect your hair from heat. Because they have a higher... What did the guy call it? I think he said a higher smoke um, degree, or I don't know. Anyways, it, it, it can withstand a lot more heat, essentially. So it can help add another layer of protection. So these are my hair care products. I'm using as a scalp oil, this one that we also got in FabFitFun. It just turned out to also be Briogeo. I honestly can't say that I've noticed a difference from any of the scalp oils I've ever used. Um, my hair honestly doesn't see, other than the rosemary oil, which I just leave in my hair, I can't say that I've noticed 
that much of a difference in my hair. Um, I think until my hair grows out, I, I don't understand. I can't spend 10 minutes a day massaging my scalp like people do. I've bought the scalp mas massager. I have it. I just, they say to spend like 10 minutes a day doing that. I'm like, I don't, maybe someday I'll have a life where I can do that. I'm, I'm not there in my life journey. So I think, unfortunately, not having bleached hair is just the best option for me to have beautiful hair that I want. All right, we're back. And I definitely have makeup on, so I definitely did not... Um, do what I said I was gonna do, but here's the thing. I got inspired to shoot a little bit of spicy content, and <laughs> sometimes I'm like, I just wish I had a place to post the bloopers for that because, oh my gosh, today there was a funny one. That's all I'm gonna say. Hilarious. All right, so basically the reason I'm kind of vlogging right now as opposed to like every other day when I've been doing nothing is because as I'm getting ready to go back to work, I just kind of want to give a little bit of insight on how I plan to do a no purchase year, which it's looking a little bit like I'm going to end up possibly going to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour next December. And so obviously that's going to be a purchase, a very large purchase. That might be in the cards for this year, but no purchase year. We are not shopping. We are not buying new clothes unless by some tragedy, I have no other option, but like we are not going to frivolously buy anything this year. So, um, how is that going to be possible? And I know people are going to have little faith in me, but I'm like, what else do I need besides what I have? I have two pairs of denim jeans that I'm absolutely in love with. One pair of like cropped. These ones are actually my favorite. I thrifted them. They're Levi's. And these ones I got when I was in London. They're River Island and they're like wide leg bottoms. I've showed them in a vlog before when I bought them and they're so adorable that I'm like, okay. So I've got like a pair of kind of skinnies and these. I feel like two pairs of jeans is enough. Um, I've got leggings upon leggings upon leggings, all black, of course, different kinds, spandex kind, you know, whatever. I've got all these basic t-shirts that I wear under my uniform, usually as undershirts, but I have them. Um, what else? I've got work, I've got workout outfits. I literally have, here's my closet that is just like, a hot mess but if we take a a look see this is just one I have I have several ball gowns which is like kind of wild right like who needs that many ball gowns but here we've got one we've got like wedding guest dress number one possible wedding dress num wedding guest dress number two possible wedding guest dress number three and all my weddings so far are spring summer weddings I've got this funky dress that like I've never wore don't even know what to do with we've got some um button-up shirts turtlenecks let's see where's my other oh more leggings um I've got a, a very expensive white business suit that I bought years and years ago and I thought I was going to go to law school and then I have other business suits from flight attendant training I'm just like And that's just one closet. Then we know in my van, I've got like, I've got concert slash festival wear things. I've got sweaters. Ooh, I'm gonna bring one of these. I got a pack right now, so that's kind of why I'm doing this right now. So we're gonna pack the undershirts. I've got tank tops, I've got denim shorts. I literally am like, there's genuinely not anything that I really need. Um, I like buying clothes because I like shopping, but when you break it down, it's like, what do I need? I don't need anything. Um, I'm going to bring this black. Although I don't think I need this. I, I just am like trying to downsize cause I need to bring more food than anything else. 
So I'm like, aside from one possible outfit, I just don't need anything. And I might not leave the hotel even. I don't even know where my layovers are. I think one is New Orleans, San Antonio, and New Orleans. So warm and warm. So definitely the t-shirt one. I don't need to bring that. A thousand pairs of underwear because I always bring them. I always bring a pair of pajamas because I really like wearing pajamas. I want to get a pair of cotton ones. I have a couple pairs of satin jammies and I really like them, but I'm really into the idea of like a cottony set. Oh, but I'm not buying anything. See how easy it just comes, man. Like I don't even think about it. Okay. Let's see. Let me pull my suitcase out of here. Oh. <sighs> So I've bought a pair of new running shoes before the end of the year. So I shan't need, hopefully, any workout shoes for the entire year. I basically always wear this black workout outfit. I might bring two because I'm trying to get back into the gym. I haven't yet this week because um, class pass, all the classes were basically full. Also, I've been a little sick. Also, I just gave myself a little bit of break. But now that I'm gonna be at work, I'm gonna actually make an effort to go to the hotel gyms every day. So I think I'm gonna bring two workout outfits and I have a blue one that I really like. I'm so out of breath, it's like quite embarrassing. Oh, more undershirts. I don't think I need this many undershirts for one trip. I'm used to packing. Oh, you know what, though? I'm packing for two trips. So I actually do need more undershirts. Okay, so bad news for me. This is the one day it decides to freaking, like, snowstorm blizzard. It is coming down crazy out there, which is not good for roads and it's not good for driving uh, or for flying, I mean runways. So I'm praying that my flight still goes out. I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. Um, I'm in some trouble. Um, so anyways, that's not good. However, hopefully in a couple of hours, the roads will be cleared and salted. It's not that cold out, so hopefully it's melting on the freeways. Hopefully, Minnesota is ready for winter at the airport. I'm currently just making some chili. And all I did was cans of fire roasted tomatoes and a can of regular diced tomatoes and then um, beans, mixtures of beans, and now I'm gonna add chili powder. That's pretty much it. I don't really do anything extra. I might, I could bring some vegan sour cream or maybe some avocado or something to put in it once I want to eat it, but I really just needed, uh oh, this needs to be shaken loose, but yeah, I figured since I have a little bit of extra time, there we go that I would make bulk. I made a lot of room, so I've got room in my lunchbox and I put a bunch of food in my suitcase. Oops, I don't wanna to do too much. Let's start there. Uh, yeah, so that's good. So hopefully it'll be like the least amount of buying food that I have to do. Hello from a layover. I am currently in New Orleans. But I just landed and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in a while. We're talking like months probably because I was traveling and then the holidays and work and um, then I got sick. I've been sick for a while. I still don't feel great today, but I'm just gonna go to the gym just to go. My nose is still really runny. My lungs, because of the cold, my room was so cold last night, my lungs don't feel the best. 
and I'm very out of shape. <laughs> So I'm like, I feel like just going to the gym, and even if I just walk on the treadmill or something easy, just to get myself back in the gym, I'll be, I'll be doing okay. Well, as suspected, I didn't do much. My nose will not stop running. <clears throat> and as you can hear, I'm like, flummy. It's like, so I just can't breathe very well. I feel okay. It's just like, it's draining. I don't know what's going on, but I, so basically, I couldn't do much, but I tried. I went, um... I did, I walked on the treadmill at an incline for 30 minutes um, and that felt pretty good and my breathing, because I didn't push it, uh, felt fine. And then I tried to do the leg press and I was just <clears throat> like so flummy and so I left. <laughs> good morning everyone from a layover. I'm actually in Cleveland right now um, and I'm gonna open the blackout curtains and see what it looks like because I was supposed to fly out this morning, but because of snow, my flight got canceled, <laughs> but there's no snow outside. Ooh, look at that building. Very pretty. Um, it might be the wind, actually, that caused our flight to be canceled. Um, but, anywho, I don't have a ton to vlog, so I got ready for work. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing today. Um, we're just kind of waiting for an official reassignment. Um, we need to end up in St. Louis tonight at some point. And yeah, so we'll see. We're just waiting around, but I'm getting ready for work so that I can just chill out and relax. But last night, I need a tripod or a makeshift tripod, but a tall one. I need to buy a travel tripod and I'm going to. Um, it's one of the things for, you know, a business expense I'm allowing myself to buy is a really nice travel tripod. I have one I'm looking at, um, but the one I'm looking at looks, appears, oh man, is this going to stay? I might need to put, oh, that's why. Um, the one I'm looking at looks like it's only for, ah, only for cell phones. And I need one obviously with a camera attachment, but the one that I'm looking at for cell phones would help for other stuff. Okay. And it comes with like lights on it. It looks really nice. It would be great for like TikTokers and Instagrammers and stuff. But that's those aren't my main platforms. So Anywho, last night I did a YouTube live and um, a lot of people were wondering like how my no spending and all that stuff was going and I had expressed, which I've expressed many times in this video that I just don't know what to film and people were like, just film like anything. And so my attempt is to just film anything. So um, also I might see what my weekly spending was because I think I'm learning so much about myself, but also about my spending like habits and my processes and also like what I'm not gonna be able to sacrifice. And you know, it's like when I have made my budget, especially for food, I just threw out a number that I thought would work, but I didn't really have any like basis for being able to stay within that number. And so, um, I've already gone over my like quote unquote weekly amounts. Um, like this week it was basically double. So now I'm having to rethink like the idea of how much money I spend on food. So it's interesting. It's a learning process. I'm surprised so many of you guys are interested in that learning process because it feels like boring. Like I'm worried like who's going to want to see this content. But anyways. I just wanted to give a little moment 
for the healthy hair that's growing in. My hair, oof, you can tell where the color treatment starts, but all of this is like new hair growth. I gotta brush it quick. I just massaged my scalp, so my hair got kind of tangled in it. But it's like all of this root growth is new and it looks so healthy and shiny. And when I curl the parts that are still blonde, they don't look as unhealthy as they are, um, which is part of the reason why I curl it every single day. Um, but I was having a moment today where I was like, oh, I really want to be blonde. Like I love being really blonde. And I was on Instagram and I was looking at these girls that are really, really blonde and they're beautiful and their hair like is beautiful. But when it's not styled, I can see like all the breakage and like all this stuff. It, my, I'm only saying that not to be judgmental, but to say that I think it's genuinely such a big part of being blonde. Like I'm, I'm like starting to think there's just nothing you can do about it. Like if you're going to be a bleach girly like your hair is just damaged I don't understand how like I have a friend who has highlighted hair and she says her stylist doesn't use bleach so I'm curious to learn more about that because I would maybe be willing to try that and her hair is very healthy looking but her natural hair is a bit lighter than mine mine's like gotten darker over the years so anyways but that's okay. I might just be a natural color girly. That just might be my life. I don't hate my natural hair color. I just feel like va va voom when I'm blonde. Like I feel like it fits my personality and stuff. So anyways, my room is a disaster right now. <laughs> I have groceries. I have like my luggage all over. Um, I did a couple of live streams last night on a few different platforms. And so... Everything is just a disaster. I was like losing service. So I had to come in the bathroom, sit in the bathroom. So everything's a disaster. Tonight I made gluten-free pasta and my new favorite pasta sauce is this one. It is, I bought it by accident. This pasta sauce, specifically the, oh, our rub, Arabiata, Arabiata, is that how you say that? <laughs> I've been saying it wrong for days, I just realized. Um, this pasta sauce is so good, it's unbelievable. Um, and I was very surprised by it. It's not organic, so that's the first thing, but the ingredients, imported Italian tomatoes, um, whole peeled tomatoes, tomato puree, sea salt, basil, onions, olive oil, sea salt, garlic, basil, crushed red pepper flakes and oregano that's it no preservatives no citric acid no whatever it is um seven grams of fat so good so good it's like not the cheapest pasta sauce but it's also not the most expensive it is so good so i had some of that last night and i cooked some beyond sausages in my um kettle over there and then I ate some of these vegan taquitos that I got last night I'm not proud of it but I did um, I got some gluten-free vegan bagel thins and cream cheese but I bought two bags because my mom is gluten-free if you guys didn't know she's celiacs and she's always looking for good gluten-free bagels and I'm going home and going home tomorrow <laughs> so Hopefully, depending on weather, I guess, but I wanted to get a couple because if she likes them, I'm coming back to Cleveland at the end of the month and I'll get like a ton of them. So um, yeah, I obviously didn't like budget shop. And if you've ever been to Cleveland, Heinen's, I think is how you say it. It's like a, what I consider like a fancy specialty grocery store. It's small and it's expensive. So I also got like, stuff for a salad and we got organic stuff it was expensive so i ended up spending 143 dollars on groceries last night but the other option is we were we were out of food right so we had to buy something and the other option was uber eats so i was like well if i buy this stuff i have food for days if i buy from uber eats i'm spending possibly like um 
spending possibly, you know, a hundred dollars on Uber Eats and it's only gonna last me maybe one or two meals. My nose is running. So that's where I'm at with budgeting for the week. So again, I'm gonna sit down, maybe later, maybe after I finish cleaning up, um, I'm gonna have a bagel for breakfast. And yeah, and then I'm gonna sit down and look at how much I spent this week and write it in my planner and kind of figure out where I can cut costs. And um, I had made chili before this trip. I can't remember if I vlogged that or not, but it was a great meal prepping meal. It was absolutely wonderful. This is the trip that was the hardest this month because it was six days in a row. I knew I was gonna run out of food. And so when I went grocery shopping, which I still have a lot of stuff at home from that grocery shopping. So this week I might not really have to spend a lot of money on food. That's like my other kind of thing that I'm, you know, I spent a lot this week, but maybe this next week I'm not spending any. So then it evens out. So I don't know. But anyways, the chili thing was great. I might do that again because not only did it taste good, it was filling, but it didn't, it wasn't heavy in my body. It felt really good. It felt very teeth detoxifying after I ate it like it felt healthy I just need to add greens to it next time like either just chop up a bunch of kale and put that like somehow fit greens into it because I need more greens in my life I can feel myself like needing them we're officially out and about and it's really cold and the wind is bad right here though I feel like the wind is being blocked by this building oh yeah so it's not like so bad but yeah my ears my face are cold my hands are warm inside my pockets but we were not prepared for the cold but we're gonna go get some coffee and some cinnamon rolls oh cinnamon rolls i want a cinnamon roll kick as we always are yeah we literally always are and they're pink so fun we made it it was cold but it's still decorated all this christmas with pink lights everywhere so we got the pink latte and also cinnamon rolls pink cinnamon rolls and then i'm gonna look at the menu so am i going over budget today our flight yes. canceled <laughs> we have nothing else to do today so The shot wasn't cinematic. Ooh, looks good though. Look, she's so cute. You can sit on this. So they have these vegan nachos on the menu that I was like really excited to try and I really, really wanted. And I went to order food because so you don't order it at the table. Antonio would have saved me had that been the case. I had to go to the counter and order and I panicked. Never ordered the nachos. Instead, I accidentally ordered the breakfast. <laughs> breakfast toast. I was like, oh, did you order the extra cheese for the nachos? And I was like, no, I forgot. And probably 10 minutes later, I was like, oh, I didn't even order the nachos. I'm like, whatever. Anyways, hopefully it'll be good. Maybe we'll still get the nachos after. Maybe we'll get them to go. <laughs> we got more food. <laughs> yes, we did. And we're excited about it. All right, I'm back in the hotel room for the rest of the day. I'm not gonna do anything else. Oh man. Well, this was an unsuccessful no purchase day, but you know what it taught me? Is it taught me I'm gonna have to rethink the way I'm looking at no purchase and my budget because I'm gonna sit down and I am gonna figure out how much money I spent this week. So we are gonna do a little recap on finances. Um, but what it taught me was I'm just gonna have to rethink it because I I don't think I can commit to not eating out for the whole year. In certain circumstances, I think I could. And possibly if I was here by myself, I might have, but you know, it's just one of those things like not buying clothes and hair accessories and shoes and like pointless things is not the hard part for me. Although there is stuff I wanna buy, but that's not the hard part for me. 
the hard part is sitting around and feeling like, well, I said I was going to do a no purchase here, so I guess I can't do anything with my life. And I realized today, like, there are going to be times where I'm just going to be going out to eat for, like, something to do and an experience and whatever. And that's, like, what today was. And it was so fun. Um, I'm obsessed with Machine Gun Kelly. And so I love, it's, like, so fun for me to go to that coffee shop when I'm in Cleveland. But you know, then maybe it's like for the rest of the month. We do have one more Cleveland layover this month, so we might we might go there again. But other than that, it's like maybe I don't eat out for any other, you know, times or whatever. So I don't know. It's just one of those things. It's making me think this month is definitely going to be a learning month. It'll be very interesting to see how much money I spent at the end of January. But according to Rocket Money, um, I am so far below um every other month like i'm my spending has decreased like exponentially so i'm still doing so much better than i've ever done in my life so i'm not gonna like get down on myself but i know you know my first video of the year about being on a budget i already like went out to eat however um you know, when I was talking to Antonia about it, because I was feeling a little bit guilty, and I'm like, I don't want to feel guilty. And when I look at it, it's like, normally when I'm working, I Uber Eats, like, at least once on the entire trip. And if you work, like, three trips a month, it's like you're Uber Eatsing $70 three times a month. Like, that's what I'm getting rid of, plus going out to eat, plus doing all this. It's like, you know, I'm trying to learn how to be a little more gentle on myself and just like learn about myself and learn what works and what doesn't as far as living on a budget. So that's what this is. All learning experiences. Also obsessed with 27 Club Coffee, the um, the pink lattes and stuff. I will say that I was really tempted to buy a beanie, um, black one with a pink skull on it, and I didn't because I was like, you know what? Even if I can justify the eating out part i cannot justify buying merch because that doesn't fit into a budget no purchase year so i held strong on the thing that i felt like really mattered which was just buying random random articles of clothing that i don't need because i actually already have a pink 27 club coffee hat that antonio bought me as a gift once so um yeah so anyways that's just a little recap of that um and I would like to get to a place where I don't feel like if I'm making a YouTube video, because honestly my instinct is, my my instinct was, oh, I'm doing this. I'm going to have this, I'm going to eat out. I'm going to get this coffee. I'm going to get this food. I, I shouldn't vlog it because people are going to be really mean to me about it. Like they're going to be like, you already failed. You're, and I don't see it as a failure, you know what I mean? And um so this is me just being honest about that experience and that's why i feel like i'm having to explain it because people are going to be like you said no per and you're fair you're correct i did say no purchase here but i think it's important to understand for myself like what what exactly that means like what what this no purchase year means to me i don't need to do it exactly the way that everybody else is doing a no purchase year because my life is very different than a lot of other people's so anyways that's all that's that so i did spend all that money on all that groceries and then we did go out to eat today so that you know but i can bring them with me it's nothing that i can't it's not a waste it's just that so anyways it's like um what time is it it's one o'clock p.m and i'm just gonna hang out for the rest of the day and just chill out i'm probably gonna just remain in bed i think what i'm gonna do is um edit this video i think after i edit i'm just going to like play music and journal write see see if i can get some writing done today i just finished editing this video with obviously the exception of this clip and it's a long one so if you've made it this far you're a writer die and i appreciate you um if you have made it this far into the video in the comment section tell me one thing if you, if you have a new year's resolution or if you're like if you have a 2024 goal or 
even just a financial goal. It doesn't have to be like New Year's related, but something you're working towards. I would love to hear from you what kind of things you're working on in your life. Let's all manifest together. Put it out to the universe in the comment section and we can all encourage each other there. I feel like that would be really fun. But anyways, before I end the video, I promised a little financial recap. You can, I'm like looking at my back in the, in the mirror. Okay, so I promised a little bit of a financial recap. And so I added up the money that I've spent this week, which the only money that I've spent aside from bills and um, my ongoing streaming services or like Epidemic Sound or like whatever my, what do you call those? Recurring payments. Those I'm counting as bills in my budget. So because I'm not getting rid of them and um, like Kindle, I kept my Kindle, like those I'm just counting as bills. So I'm not counting those as purchases. And the only thing other than bills I've spent money on is food. So, as you know, I thought I was going to be able to live in a $600 grocery budget. And I'm not saying that's impossible. I'm just saying maybe thinking I was going to be able to do that in month one, having never lived on a budget in my entire life, was a little bit of a stretch. So, basically, I spent on January 1st, $156.30 on groceries. Then on Saturday, January 6th, I spent $143 on groceries. Then I spent no money all the all the way until yesterday or the day before. I bought um I had to buy some food in the airport. So I didn't write this, the specific amounts, but I know because I, I've bought so few things. I bought um, Starbucks. I bought, so I reloaded my Starbucks card. So that was $25 that I put towards that. And I'm starting to, um, originally I considered possibly giving up Starbucks just to go really extreme on the no purchase year. But um, as far as my job goes, I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible, but I have an idea for how I'm going to attempt to give up Starbucks, so stay tuned, because in the next vlog, I will talk about that. When I get home to Minnesota, I will clue you all in on how I'm hopefully gonna give up Starbucks. So, anyways, $25 on Starbucks. I spent another amount um, on airport food Oh, you know what? There was even more airport food, and I think I didn't include it in this amount. Because I don't remember seeing it. So my amount might actually be like, add $17 to it. But anyways, long story short, after the groceries and the food, that was $208.94. So total so far for the month, I'm at $508.24, but I think I'm really at $517 and something. So it might be about $518. No, that's a lie. So I'm more at about $526-ish for the month on food, on just groceries, and barely eating out at all. I mean, it, today I counted in here, but me and Antonia split the cost of that so um yeah and I'm only halfway through the month so that feels a little crazy though like it really feels crazy to think about but there's something I really wanted to say about the grocery part is um on my live stream where I was talking about <laughs> there that's better on my live stream where I was talking about um finance and stuff last night some of the comments under it were, well, if you just eat instant ramen or um, to live in a grocery budget, I don't buy any fresh this, that, the other thing because it costs more, which I totally get. I totally get. And there's obviously a difference in having to eat within a budget because that is the only money you have. 
for food. So you absolutely have to make it stretch. And there's a difference in just neat and wanting to, if that makes sense. So I'm, I'm in a privileged position where I, I get to eat healthy, fresh food and it does cost more money, but I want to eat good foods for my health because my health is another 2024 resolution. Saving money is one, yes. Buying a house is one, yes. But also taking care of my health and fitness. And you have to remember that a lot of my money is coming from a platform that I make off of my body. So I need to treat my body well because the better I feel, the better I look and the better, the more um, motivated I am to create content on that platform, which is the platform bringing me, bringing me the most income. Um, so for me, it's really important to be able to buy good food. So that might be why my grocery budget is bigger because I'm buying a lot of organic, a lot of fresh, a lot of um, kind of specialty items and things like that. So just keep that in mind. Um, I do understand that my grocery bu budget is bigger than it needs to be. My goal for 2024 isn't necessarily to um, spend as little amount as humanly possible. It's to spend as little as possible for me while still having a good <laughs> life, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, I don't need to spend money in areas that I don't need things, but I consider needing good quality food. And I, again, I very much understand that that is a privilege, but that's where I'm coming from. And that's why like somebody's going to be like you spent, so your grocery budget's going to be a thousand dollars a month, which is very high. Um, and it's crazy like to think that because, um, it's outrageous to me that a single person, a solo person who wants to just eat healthy needs to spend $1,000 a month. Because imagine a family trying to feed a family healthy, organic, good quality food. It, it, that's an outrageous amount of money. So um, yeah, lots of lessons being learned for me this month, that's for sure. But yeah anyways we're gonna see obviously by the end of the month it's it's looking like it's gonna be a good amount of money i'm spending hopefully it'll be under a thousand um i have a lot of groceries now so it's just gonna be interesting to see how that plays out but i just wanted to give that financial update that today is the 13th so so today we're about halfway through january and that's where we are financially i haven't um added up my bills. I think I'm going to add up my bills at the end of January. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I know this um, is a different kind of vlog. My, my life is changing up a little bit now, but if you are just along this learning journey, this kind of life changing new habit forming journey, thank you so much for being here with me. I'm so much enjoying it. And hopefully I figure out how to create better content in regards to um, how this year is sort of changing, but I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for the kind words and encouragement and just being here with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!